fees. You pay fees for luggage. You pay fees for guacamole. And worst of all, you pay fees for your own money. The average fee for using an out-of-network ATM is now $4.50. They're actually charging you for something that saves them money. Last year, three banks alone collected over $6 billion in ATM and overdraft fees. That's like taking $25 from every adult in America. Or three Chipotle burritos. Or two with guac. A majority of that money comes from overdraft fees, or the money you're supposed to pay when you run out of money. Overdraft fees, you know, you buy a $2 cup of coffee and they charge you $35 without even telling you. It makes your blood boil. Between 2014 and 15, banks pulled in $32.5 billion in overdraft fees. The overdraft protection law was introduced in 2010 to stop banks from automatically enrolling customers in overdraft protection. But a recent Pew study found that over half of enrolled customers don't remember enrolling. Basically, it's a trap. which is why fees have been a big political talking point for years. And just guess who's been focused on it since the mid-90s. At some point, is that they're being charged $2 or $3 or maybe more to get $20 of their own money out of a bank. Bernie's basically a big bank psychic. Within five years, Virtually every financial institution in this country will have raised their fees very, very substantially. And he's right. The average ATM fee is $4.52, and it's only getting higher. Over the past five years, fees have skyrocketed more than 21%. I am going to go back to using tellers. That's what I think I'm it sounds like a plan. Whether you think ATM fees are on the same level as luggage or guac, studies show they seriously hurt people living from paycheck to paycheck. According to the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, low-income customers are twice as likely to get hit with overdraft fees and eventually lose their accounts. Proving once again that being poor in the U.S. can be very expensive. Makes your blood boil. This is your mic check.